Adam says, my friend has taken over a small business and has created a website and email domain via Squarespace that uses Google. Uh, the, the email is only a few weeks old and currently only one user. Is the process to migrate from Google to Microsoft 365 uh, simple? And the it, it, we're just chatting here uh, uh, offline, but the you know this it, what there's there's so many tools that are out there. Again, this is a very uh, exchange online email migrations is a very mature space, and there Indeed. are many free tools that are out there. And so, for example, I got a link to the, uh, the article um, that MSP360 um, offers out there, but they point to, and there's a lot of documentation out there, there's through the Office 365 Admin Center. They, again, a very mature uh, uh, um, activity here. They're aware of this as Microsoft has made it as easy as possible to migrate away from Google email. So through the Office 365 Admin Center, you can do that. Um, Skykick for Google Mail migration to Office 365. Cloud M has a migration tool. Um, and then BitTitan also has one. And I know BitTitan was huge for a while, long time with uh, partners that are out there. Um, but these specifically, uh, you know, these got tools that, tools that are out there. I can't vouch for everyone claiming to provide a free solution out there. Um, but I would go with the free Microsoft one. Um, if you're familiar with, if you have licenses to one of these other um, partner solutions. But uh, again, if you just go and look for free Gmail migration to uh, Office 365, you're going to get a lot of hits. Um, and so it's very simple, especially if you're fewer than 10 mailboxes that you're migrating, generally there's a free solution for those things. And then off the back of that, if you're not wanting to even go for the solution because you're a little concerned about using a third party, you can just bring it down into like log in to Outlook Classic and make sure it's all connected, export it as a PST, as a, you know, the Gmail as a PST, depending on if it's a POP or IMAP or whatever, uh, and then just import it into your new account and have them too. Like that's just a bit of a, it's more of a manual, you know, process in some respects because you're doing it all through Outlook. As long as it's Outlook Classic, Outlook New does not allow you to export to a PST at this point to be able to do the migration over. I've also had it where you know you can do, open the both. I can just do a cut and paste, um, and yep. just bring it over that way. Don't copy and paste because then if it fails, then you won't ever know what you have copied or not copied. Try doing it and make sure it's a cut and paste from one account over to the other. In, in small batches, don't try and in do them all right. yeah, yeah. That's folder, important. Folder at a time, depends on how big the folder is, but yeah. <clears throat> Outlook does not like to do lots of emails doing anything at once. Mm -hmm. yeah. as, well, this as one too. I've discovered from trying to migrate stuff. I keep a lot of, I keep a lot of stuff from the, uh, from the, uh, the uh, distribution lists, the Microsoft distribution lists, not just simply for archival purposes and having a, the uh, the online mail but well it used to be 50 gigabytes and I was continually having to drain stuff out of it uh, and you do that by moving it to a PST file but you have to move them in chunks because if you do the whole thing you lock the client up yeah so this about is about 15 a, 20 emails that are whack yeah it, Adam has like the simplest uh, you know uh, request here what one user uh, only a couple weeks old not a problem there's not much there. right right Absolutely. Keep it simple. Yep.